Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me for another clean with me. In this video, I am going to be getting some decluttering done, getting my fall and winter clothes put away as well as my oldest sons and pulling out our spring and summer clothes. I'm going to be doing some work in the kitchen as well this video is basically all over the place it took me about four days to film because life has definitely been happening for me this week but without further ado let's get into it i am starting off in my closet going through my jeans i'm being sure to pull out every pair touch every pair and really see what I need to pack away, what I need to give away, and what I need to just go ahead and get rid of. Again, if I said it, it'll last forever. I know I make mistakes, it's just the way I am. That's why you have to know. Yeah, there's not a part of me that wants to see. So after going through my jeans and figuring out what was what, now I'm just doubling up pretty much. Each hanger had one pair of jeans. I'm just putting two pair on a hanger just to save even more space. Um, I'll also show you a clip of the jeans that I'm going to be giving away and the jeans that I am going to be packing away right there. There's no forgiveness in these eyes Been down this road too many times Take your brokenness and go Baby, I can't fix that hole I'm done being the target of your crazy lies Do what you can to save your life Mean words and your evil ways Can make the strongest person break You make me feel less than small You tore me like a There's no room for one mistake Pick up your stuff and leave Agree to disagree So take your brokenness and go So now it's time for me to tackle my tops And I'm pretty much using the same method I plan on just touching everything Making sure I'm taking a good hard look at it Looking at the size, the style, um, how worn it is. Um, most likely I'm going to keep, you know, a cardigan or two out. Besides that, everything else that's, you know, thicker material, sweater material, um, I do plan on packing away. But once again, I'm pretty much using the same method. Do what you can to save your life. Take your brokenness and Take your brokenness and go. 
looking back at this clip of me multitasking, going through my tops and holding caches at the same time, it just really makes me think of how stretched we are at times as moms. We we are just being pulled in a million directions and we're just trying to keep up. And I personally just want to let you know, as long as you are doing your best and you're moving forward, you're not giving up, then you are definitely, definitely winning. It's okay to not have it all together. And it's okay if it takes you a little bit more time to get things done than you would like. Um, it's just honestly a part of life. I did end up putting away another cardigan or two, but those are my tops that I will be keeping and those are the tops that I will be giving away or getting rid of. So moving on to shoes, I did make it a personal goal to get rid of at least one pair of shoes in each pile. So I have my heels all together, my sandals all together, my casual shoes all together, um, like my comfy shoes and um, flip flops, things of that nature all together, and my boots all together. And I just wanted to make sure that I was getting rid of at least one pair out of each category. It's not my fault You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong 
so i really wanted to share this clip with you guys these are a pair of coach shoes that i've had for a very very long time i no longer wear them but they do have sentimental value and i just really had a moment where i had to be real with myself and just really tell myself you're never going to wear these shoes again let someone else benefit from them Lying like a rat, but take your stuff back baby it's you the last few days we have been doing arts and crafts on this particular day we were making luminous lamps where you just use mason jars um, different color tissue paper and you put a little candle on the inside and each season we've been putting one or two out on the porch and just lighting it at night so that's what my son was working on on this particular day moving on into my bedroom what i'm doing is just going through my dresser going through all of my tops and once again figuring out what i'm going to be leaving out what needs to be packed away and what needs to be giving away or thrown away so that's what you will see me doing in these next few clips but baby it's you lying like a right but take your stuff back baby it's you just want to quickly mention that anything I mention or you know give you some information about in this particular video I will leave the links down below um, any products that I'm using or showing to you um, as well as um, the luminous lamps I'll put the link of the site I found that on for you as well to my Now, as I am pulling out my warmer clothes out of one of these space saver bags, I am going to be touching every item, looking at every item, checking the size, and really seeing, hey, you know, are you going to keep this? Are you gonna give it away? Is it too worn? Are you going to throw it away? Um, I can honestly say, lately in my life i've just been very good at just letting things go and just realizing that it's just material things um it's really not that deep and even outside of material things just being able to you know not get so upset over things or not think not let things have such an emotional hold on me things of that nature just being able to just let it go and that is one thing that I'm very proud of myself for being able to do so that's what I'm doing in this clip some items are just things that <laughs> I'm not that same person anymore you know so some items I am trying to just let go if I feel like it's a little bit too much too revealing um, honestly, I did keep an item or two because I feel, you know, once we're, once we're allowed back out, you know, outside and it's, you know, date night or we go on a trip or something like that, um, I do want to be able to, you know, um, 
you know spice it up a bit so I did keep an iffy item or two So I know nowadays a lot of us are finding ourselves with more time. Is anyone learning a new skill, taking a new class, trying something new with the kids? I mean, what what do you guys have going on? I know me personally, I am definitely trying so, so hard to get back in to shape um, I feel like it will definitely help me physically as well as mentally and spiritually um, I have been you know trying to work out um, I'm trying yoga I'm doing meditation so that's definitely something that I'm trying to stay up on and I'm also trying my hand at baking um, breakfast lunch and dinner no problem I can definitely handle that but heading over to the sweeter side of things i would probably burn the house down so i definitely want to get better at making you know sweets but anywho right now i am in my son's room i do apologize for the angle but i'm pretty much going through and seeing what is too small for him what is fall and winter clothes that need to come out and I also reorganized as well. So in the top drawer is now all of his um, underclothes. The second drawer has his night clothes alone. The third drawer, I put all of his shirts. His fourth drawer, all of his good bottoms, his jeans, shorts, things of that nature. And the bottom drawer now holds all of his play clothes.
So before heading downstairs to go ahead and tackle the kitchen, I did just quickly grab a basket of clothes I seen and decided to just I fold them very quick hard. before heading on downstairs. I'm supposed to be the one you can trust. I feel so useless cause I let you down. I hope there's some way I can make it alright cause I know that you deserve much more. surface wipes to wipe down some surfaces in the kitchen I'm using my Mela magic as well as my lemon bright apple scent to clean the oven what I did was made some soapy water with that dish liquid and Mela magic in it and um, to scrub out the inside of the oven I didn't want to use anything you know heavy or harsh that would have me choking to death so I did opt out and went ahead and used my biodegradable products they always come right on time um, now I know you see that the oven is smoking everything is completely fine I put the warm setting on to loosen up the grit and grind and when I went back to clean the oven it still wasn't um, completely cool but I really really didn't want to wait because I was having one of those days where if I don't get it done now then it's going to roll over and I want to say we're already on day three of this video so I definitely wanted to go ahead and push through
Since I am already in the kitchen, I just wanted to go ahead and catch up on some dishes, unload the dishwasher, and get some more dishes put in the dishwasher. Um, now, I told you this video was all over the place, but um, the things on this video and my previous videos for my um, spring clean series, I do want to mention mostly all of these things have already been done um, just a few months ago when I was nesting, that's the word, nesting, but I figured why not tackle them again. So it wasn't really anything that, you know, really was just built up, just outrageous on this series. So I did just, you know, throw in, hey, let me fold a basket or two of laundry. Hey, let me um, unload the dishwasher. Just little things here and there. Um, you know, I'm going to do it anyway, so why not do it together? We are on the fourth and final day and I thank you if you've made it this far in this video. Thank you, thank you so very much. Now on this day, I call myself measuring some liners and putting them in the cabinets. Now I am a do-it-yourself type of gal. But I can be very impatient when it comes to measuring things. Um, I'm the same way with baking. That's probably why a lot of the stuff I try fail. <laughs> but um, yes, so I'm going to be putting some liners in the cabinets and cleaning my floors as well on this day. I have tried, oh I have tried, yeah, to become better But I thought again if I said it, it'll last forever I know I make mistakes, it's just the way I am That's why you have to know, yeah There's not a part of me that wants to say no As I am straightening the kitchen and cleaning the floors, I'm also getting dinner on for this particular night. So you'll see me sauteing some onions that were on the stove. That was the last thing that um, 
needed to get done so that I could dump them into my crock pot with my oxtails. So if you see me walk into the stove, that's what's on the stove. I'm done being the target of your crazy lies Do what you can to save your life Mean words and your evil ways Can make the strongest person break You make me feel less than small You tore me like a wrecking ball You hit like an earthquake There's no room for one mistake Pick up your stuff and leave Agree to disagree for taking the time and vibing out with me today and cleaning. I hope that you were able to get all of the motivation that you needed. If not, definitely watch another video. You're already here, so why not? Um, I am going to leave you with a clip of the meal I ended up cooking and I should be posting a cook with me very, very soon.